We have an eight-year-old. We're a foster family as well, year-and-a-half-year-old son. And we have a newborn who's six months. But what do you do when that happens? Do you change the channel? It occurred to me. And if you did, I get it. We kept it, we kept it, we kept it on. We kept it on for our eight-year-old to absorb. And like any curious eight-year-old, she had questions. So kids do. They take in information, the curiosity sparks, and I had awful answers for her questions. That was the worst part of it. Dad, how did this happen? Why did this happen? And this one really got me. Has this happened before? Surely she expected that the answer would be no. But we know that it has. And so we're here again. The last question she asked me was, what do we do about it? Mika? This right here. It's important that we let the members of our community know that they're not alone in thinking that gun reform, sensible gun reform saves lives. You can feel alone in that thought, in this state, I think. Anybody? Yeah? But we're here, you see like-minded people around you. You might not agree on everything, but we agree that common sense gun legislation needs to be passed at all levels of our government. And we're gonna hold those accountable that are blocking that legislation, and we're gonna support those who will make it happen. We learned in the Hit Texas History class about Texas' storied history of independence, conflict, and defiance of the status quo. And within all those stories were the same words. And one of those words was righteous. And I'll stand on Texas as my home state to the end of time. And I wish I could say that I feel that righteousness today, seeing all of my fellow San Antonians come together for something so important. But honestly, that righteousness isn't there right now. Right now, I fear anger, sadness, and pain, and fear. I'm angry because of the inaction by the people that we've elected to prioritize strict gun control. I'm sad and I'm grieving because of the lives that we've already lost due to that inaction. Lives that we will not get back. sad, angry, and fearful, but this isn't about me or many of us here. It's about a call to action over the much needed regulation of these weapons and the ease at which someone can get one. Enough is enough. Enough, enough is enough. enough. So the Constitution is used as a platform by one side a lot of times to justify the death and pain we have to endure. Let me remind them that the words of the Second Amendment were written in 1789 when militias were needed to be on standby and the most common weapon was a single shot musket. In case they haven't noticed, times have changed. We cannot live in the past. We must repeat, we cannot repeat the mistakes and if we want to change the future, we have to move forward. The Constitution was also created to give power to the people. The power to elect representatives would come with the idea that those officials would represent whatever mandate the people set. The system is clearly broken and the majority is being ignored. It is time the majority issued an eviction notice and elected those who will act in the interest of all citizens and not line their greedy pockets. a mass school shooting occurs, it becomes more and more difficult to maintain that belief that our schools are safe for our students and our staff. In Texas, time and time again, we have seen our state leadership 
utterly fail to keep our schools safe, whether it's from gun violence or from COVID, politicians like Governor Abbott and Senator Ted Cruz have demonstrated their callous disregard for the working people of this state. They have demonstrated who they are truly beholden to, the billionaires, especially those that profit off of the violence that they commit against our communities like the gun lobby. But our union also believes that if something is wrong, it is up, for, uh, up to us to come together collectively to organize and fight like hell to transform our society into the one that we deserve, that our children deserve, and that our communities deserve which is why we are here to demand that our elected representatives do what is necessary to keep our community safe.